Hey guys, it's me, Phoenix. We are going to do a general read to see where your energy is. Please do me a favor, like, share, subscribe. Hit the bell notification to be notified when I post a new video. Remember, red hearts, you made it through. Purple hearts, it resonates. Green hearts, you're working on it. Yellow hearts, you're rocking me. Got my six, me and have my back because I have yours. We're going to pull from the breakup oracle, meaning that you are either in separation or thinking about separation. So let's see where you are when it comes to this energy. The card that came out is elimination. And then we have unintentional. I never meant to hurt you. I'm not who you think I am. And then elimination is here. It says I'm eliminating anything or anyone that could come between us. So there is a type of situation where somebody is realizing that what they did wasn't intentional because they thought at some point that the grass was greener on the other side. And therefore, now here it is, the love situation that you were dealing with. Yeah, now they're really trying to get to a point to where they're realizing that you weren't as bad as they thought or something that, you know, whatever they thought was was greater wasn't as, yeah, ex extravagant gestures. <laughs> Gestures from the heart, walking the talk, making it up to you. So they're realizing that, I, and I said it's not as bad as it is. Maybe children could be involved. Maybe they had children with a person, or maybe they just were childish. They were childish, unintentional. So there could have been an unintentional child, but now there is a love offer that they're trying. They're thinking about putting out on the table because they thought that the grass was greener on the other side. And now the love offer is going to come to you Um how do I put it? This going to come to you as superficial because they're going to think that they can sweep you off your feet by taking you out of town and doing stuff like that. Yeah, well, there was a type of love affair and controversy, scandal, uh, drama, and truth coming out. It could have been about children. I don't know. Maybe the person had a child with you. Unknown caller, stalking, hanging up, unknown numbers. There was a love affair at some point. They thought that, um, or they're realizing that you're the high-value empress, the um, confident person. But at one point, they thought that the grass was greener on the other side and people were playing on your phone or now they're trying to figure out what you're doing. Secrecy, third party, hooking up STDs. So it could have been something that came to the light. You know, I cannot predict any STDs. I'm not going to even try to do that, you know. So, you know, you know your story, you know, and you know that you are high value. Hold on, here come my pretty. Okay. Um, so, yeah. I just believe that you, you know, the elimination of, of, of basically all the BS and them realizing that the affairs and all the other stuff is, you know, frivolous. And, you know, it's like the truth is coming out that you are the person that is the, you know, who they want to be with, I guess. And so, yeah, police information, something about this energy, this police card keeps coming out no matter how many times. I use this card deck, investigations, uh, love story, once upon a time. No matter how much they research, how much trouble you got, they cause you, how much, and I'm not going to put this in the energy of somebody being investigated, police. Take what resonates if that's what you want to put it together, but that's not how I see this. I see this as, you know, them doing things, um, toxicity, um, toxicity, and making permanent decisions on temporary emotions. That's kind of how I see that with love affairs, all these different things. And the way that they're going to mess up is that, sorry, I have my TV up loud, is that what they're going to do is try to come back and make it up to you. But, you know, you can take yourself, look at that card stuck down there. You could take yourself on different things, water, energy. Yeah, our energy, wealth, resources, and opportunities. What I was just about to say is that you can take and you can provide yourself um, with all the extravagance and, the thing is, is that the the thing, the deep, dark holes, the, the this came out of my read from yesterday. But the thing is that what's holding you back is this stagnant energy and why you don't want to move forward with the adventure is because, you know, after doing all your research and everything else is that the controversy is not with you. It's with them. And so they can investigate you all they want. But set it off, strive for, strive for and be optimistic and initiative. They have to take the initiative to be able to eliminate all the BS, not you. And so, therefore, um, they realize that they're in trouble. They realize that they're in trouble, that they have to, they bit off more than they can chew because they thought that the grass was greener on the other side. And here it is. Um, 
they're they might not be winning in this situation. I'm gonna pull from the messengers messengers of the heart to see what comes out, either your energy or their energy. But I also I haven't pulled tarot yet, so we will get to tarot and maybe clarify with tarot. Yeah, God favors you. Um, yeah, you know that in taming the beast, yeah. Beauty and the Beast story, you tame the beast. Old wounds, they have to heal the old wounds. Their unhealed childhood wounds, back to childhood. Remember I said they're childish. Their unhealed childhood wounds prevent them from forming meaningful and long-lasting relationships. So, again, childish, afraid to move forward, thinking that, you know, everything, the third parties and all of this love affair and all this other stuff, it causes more trouble if you want to look at it as STD-wise, fine, whatever. Them thinking that the grass is greener. Ooh, my card's about to fall. Ah. Them thinking that the grass is greener on the other side causes more trouble for them in the long run. Does that make sense? And so, therefore, the only thing. Hold on, I'm trying to make it's all these three card decks that are sitting here. They're about to fall. But them thinking that the grass is greener on the other side is not. Besides that, I made my other card deck fall. It's not everything, you know. So. They have to be the ones, sorry, they have to be the ones to um, change that. Nothing that you can do. And that's the energy that's been happening in all of these reads. You know, it's them that has, brings toxicity to you, that brings the trouble to you, that brings you to, and this to me is blowing up. So the last read, this came out three different reads. It's three different reads in the last couple of days. But this energy to me is where we at, where we get to. When we get to the point of blowing up on everybody and you know how you say, I'm going to walk away because you're going to make me um, have to hurt you. That's the energy, kind of how I see, not physically, mentally, you know, I'm not going to really say hurt you, but I'm saying you're going to make me have to make a decision that is going to cause my freedom, basically, in so many words, like they're playing games with you. And so they have to eliminate those type of energies when it comes to that. Hold on, I'm turning around. So I can get the Monopoly deck. So the Monopoly deck is what we're going to pull from when it comes to tarot. Because, again, you know, you already know what it is that you want out of these situations. Should I take these cards? No. I'll show you what they are just in case they come back. I see strength and I see Page of Wands energy. So Page of Wands energy is like, you know, the energy of exploring, figuring out what it is that you want to do, you know, when it comes to being in the Page of Wands energy. But... I'm not going to take those. I'll pull this other one, which is kind of unsure. I'll turn that one over when it comes to un uh, elimination. Yeah, three of cups energy. It's a party. You're unsure. The third party energies could be here. The love affairs. The strength came back out, but you're unsure of your strength if you're going to be able to say no to the, you know, making it up. You know, like you want this just as much as they want. You want them to recognize who you are. It's not about the money. It's not about the uh, the, the this or that. It's about the learning lessons. You want them to learn who you really are, sun energy. You want them to understand King of Wands energy, a provider of authority and charm. You want them to be able to um, win you over. A lot of people um, look at, uh, let's say, for instance, a cancer. Who's a cancer man we know? We all know 50 Cent. He's very charismatic. He's very, you know, like when it comes to certain things, but he has that garbage bell kid mentality you know it's like he's very 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 like um or or, gar or uh, sour patch kid mentality you know he's very um uh cute on the outside but he's the fireball on the inside that's how we tend to be and that's the energy of this police officer so but he can also win you over with his charm king of wands energy is basically you know seeing the big picture overcoming challenges you want them to be able to see who you really are which is a high value person i hate that word after Kevin Samuels, but uh, a high value person, somebody who brings something to the table and it's going to take for them to kiss a lot of frogs in order to understand that the gods do favor you and you are somebody who can tame a beast and can bring the adventure to the to the situation. But the controversy there that they bring to you, you're not going to deal with the drama. I was just watching literally, hold on. Um, I was literally just watching a video on Facebook Hold on, let me see if I can find it. I sent it to my friend. But I was just literally watching a video on Facebook, and the girl was like, when you're mad at your your boyfriend, and the, the movie, the thing is, it comes out I, independent, and it says, my my wife's toxic trait whenever she's mad, uh, 
at me becomes 100% independent and one and won't ask me for help. That is the energy that you get into. It's crazy how that just came out. That's the energy that you can get into when you have to, you know, let things go and eliminate a lot of the things. So again, this person has to eliminate the games and learn to heal and understand that the third party things, it's like, I'm not dealing with that no more. That's where you are. You get what I'm saying? So the gods do favor you. It says, now is the time. Now is the time. Your prayers have been heard. You will, you will succeed and be vindicated. And then it says, taming the beast. You make them putty in your hands. They know their old uh, conquering ways will not work with you. So this is going to offend you. The trying to take you out like you can't provide yourself with anything because you're independent. And um, at the same time, you are a provider of authority and charm when it comes to the world. But this person puts you in that black hole energy and makes you want to lash out and do things that you wouldn't normally do because of the third party energies, if that makes sense. And so when it comes to you being the resource and oh, look at that, our card just tried to turn over the chariot. And then let's see. Yeah, you go into hermit mode. That's the black hole for you. And you you start to move forward as a chariot and, you know, realize that, you know what, I can do this on my own. I'm independent. She got her own car, he or she, whatever it is. But again, this person can make you go into hermit mode when you start to doubt yourself. Yeah. And the three of pentacles, again, you won't deal with the third party energies, but you will collaborate when it comes to moving forward the right way. So the them eliminating all the bull stuff, ten of swords energy, dark is before the dawn. You have to understand that, you know, you felt backstabbed and they have to understand that their childish ways and the controversy that they put, whether intentional or not, unintentional, intentional or not, you know, you are able to tame this beast, but they're going to do some investigation. They're going to have to really see who you are, water energy, a nurturer. And, you know, at this point, they're going to be holding on tight, which is darkest before the dawn, three of uh, four of pentacles energy. So four years, seven, a total of seven years here. We got four uh, pentacles, three of pentacles. Each pinnacle is equivalent to a year, and we have the nine of pinnacles. So you could be, be could have been going back and forth for seven years in regards to um, this energy of trying to collaborate with this person, holding on tight to this person. But at the ninth year or close, getting close to the ninth year, you are independent and you're not looking for the same thing you were in regards to dealing with this person, if that makes sense. So you tame the beast and this beast is trying to come back around and look at and trying to find the things that you're doing because at one point they realized that they thought that everything, the grass was greener on the other side, remember underneath the deck, but all this third party energy, they don't want it no more. They're eliminating that and they want, they don't want a party. They're eliminating the parties. They're eliminating the third party and they want you. And so the promiscuous energy and the, the crazy energy is like, no, because when you, cut them off and put them in that dark energy, uh, meaning dark, like no communication dark, like going dark. They had to investigate and figure out what you were doing. And they also had to realize that, you know, uh, it was them, not you. And so that is how I see that energy. Yeah. So I see it just like that. So there you have it. My phone has started ringing. So there you have it. But yeah, they realized that you aren't the one that you know, uh, your, your energy was, is what they need. And so how they come back around, I don't know how that's going to work, but the four of pentacles, again, seven years, nine years, you could be close to nine years of dealing with or knowing or having some type of energy with this person, place, thing, or situation. But again, the independence comes because you're looking for somebody who is a provider of authority and charm, not financial, not bull crap, not childish, not anything. But again, it gets as dark as before the dawn, meaning Ten of Swords, you've been backstabbed enough to know that the adventures that you go on is going to find you the energy that you're looking for. And that is something that you're just not in a situation to where you're going to allow anybody to make you have to pull back your energy unless it deals with, you know, um, work or something like that. And so I'm going to pull from the spiritual gifts card and it says the journey of spiritual awakening now um and see what you're doing and how you uh, awaken your spiritual gifts and had to you know and, and this also could have helped you get through where you are to where that dark hole didn't look yeah candle maker 
and channeling. It says you're being called to download and deliver messages from the spirit realm to bring closure, healing, and peace. And that's all you wanted to do. Closure, healing, and peace by the unintentional energies and also the childish behaviors or the childhood trauma. But astral travel, it says 5D energy, right? You're being called to communicate with spirits, entities, and guides in the astral realm to retrieve uh, and sh retrieve and share the message. Again, the gods favor you. And the gods favor you says, you're now, now is the time again. Your prayers have been heard and you will succeed and be you will succeed and be vindicated. So going into hermit mode, moving forward and learning who to collaborate with. And you're not necessarily collaborating with the person. You're collaborating with the universe and you're learning from the energies that are around you. And it says candle maker, you're being called to explore crafting sacred candles for rituals and spiritual healings for the soul. So you could be lighting candles. You could be going and getting a candle maker to make candles with intentions in them. But um, or you could have candles around your house. The candles equivalent for me. Oh, my um, my moon is off. I had cut that one off, but and that one is low. But are my salt lamps? I have salt lamps all around my house. When my kids were younger, um, I used to burn candles until they got to an age where they're walking and stuff like that. And then so I start using my salt lamp. So that is where I'm at. When it comes to candles so you, whatever your intentions are you could be burning candles for smell but i did learn something about candles uh i forget she's a um a reader i think on on facebook i, I think it was a reader on facebook hold on my baby is calling me i can't hear you come here um i have my camera right here looking at her playroom and she's telling me something i can hear her say it but i can't really hear what she's saying but um, hold on, let me go see. Okay, so yeah, you know, you've been channeling different ways and different energies to be able to strengthen yourself and make the decisions. And sometimes, like I say, you have to send strength and healing in the 5D and ask for healing. Uh, you know, that sending strength and healing without anything behind it is hopefully that the universe will see that the unintentional energies of them is from childhood trauma or that they're just childish and they need to grow up. And sometimes the energy is just telling you it's time for you to move on and find like-minded energy, en ener energies, and they're telling them to eliminate the third parties, which cause, again, um, it can cause, you know, different type of secret, secret things and, you know, bad energies, and therefore it's telling them to grow up and you to go into hermit mode to move forward and to collaborate with like-minded individuals. So that's how that could be read if you want to go ahead and look at it that way and so you're not you know the energy of holding on tight four of pentacles energy um is you saving you controlling and securing your energy and conserving your energy this could be financially mental mentally physically or emotionally but it could be just you working on things to do for yourself and pulling your energy back and so sometimes it's easier said than done especially when somebody gives you a love offer and they felt like at one point that the grass is greener on the other side and that, um, you know, and then they all of a sudden 10 years later want to grow up and, uh, you know, they want to grow up, you know, or nine years later because the Nine of Pentacles, again, they want to grow up and try to show you something different. But the first thing that they do is say, let's go on a trip. And you're like out of everything instead of us really starting to communicate about certain situations. You want to go on a trip. You want to just drop everything and just move forward and go on a trip or and not really discuss what the past energies were. Yeah, no, that's not going to happen. So at some point, you have to be the one to uh, say what it is that you want out of a situation. And sometimes it's easier said than done. So I'm going to go ahead and pull from the four agreements, which teaches you to be impeccable with your words, not to make assumptions, to do your best. And um um, what am I saying? I always do that and don't make assumptions. Don't make assumptions and don't take anything personal. Sorry, I'm I'm really tripping. But anyway, I'm going to pull from the four agreements and I'm going to pull from the crystal deck. If you want to know my perspective of the crystal deck and the four agreements, you can click the link above. But um, yeah, there you have it. You have to be the one. So four cards came out up, right? Hold on. And then I'm going to pull from the... Doo -doo -doo -doo. What is this called? The Four Agreements. And you guys, if you want to click the links below to listen to the um, Game of Life and How to Play It, um, that's another thing that I listen to. It teaches you a way of looking at things and the power of your word. So don't take anything personal. Release self-judgment. So 
um, at some point, remember where I told you somebody felt like you weren't high value enough or you weren't, um, sorry, I'm pulling my heater close. You weren't high value enough or you weren't worth it and the grass was greener on the other side, you would just take that personally and start to devalue yourself or start to feel some type of way. And so once you got out of that situation and was like, you know what, it's not me, it's them. You know, I know what I bring to the table. I understand the opportunities that I have. I understand the way that I'm able to manifest to have the things being the mother of the Zodiac. And I also understand the way that I love is a little bit different. And people don't take that. Uh, they don't take that into perspective until I remove my energy. So you have to understand that release self-judgment and don't judge yourself based upon how somebody loved you um, or whatever. And says, even the, uh, even the opinions you have about yourself are not necessarily true. Therefore, you don't need to, to take whatever you hear in your own mind personal because this is what makes us go into hermit mode but not be able to come out, makes us go into hermit mode and to be able to uh, stay in that, that zone of not being enough. And so when we listen to what somebody or to who we love and they tell us something negative about ourselves, we just keep playing that over and over and over in our head until we realize that it's not, it's not us, it's the company that you keep. Does that make sense? So three of pentacles, three of cups, three of cups, three of pentacles energy of you find people to complete you and, uh, and then also you can find people that will deplete you. And that also comes with you dealing with somebody who thinks the grass is greener on the other side and that, you're not high value. The energies and the affairs that they're having makes them feel better. It makes them feel good about themselves. But in actuality, what happens is that it makes them feel like they're the provider of authority and charm, but they really need help. They really have to eliminate the, the childhood cycles that they've gone through. And so that is when you have a different understanding that it's not me, it's you. And you know how that, to, to some people, it's a lame excuse of how you know, they try to deflect or uh, put that energy on you. And that's the energy that you know, basically, that you are this person, this high value person. And it doesn't because you're not promiscuous or you're not uh, into accepting third parties that you're not, you know, uh, you're, you're a bad person. You're not a bad person. You're just somebody who deserves more and better when it comes to who you collaborate with. So whether they, this is a friendship, work, work relationship, you know, whatever situationship, you have to understand that I'm not going to take it personal because somebody else is making me feel less than. I need to give them their energy back and move forward. So, and then let them think and let them see and let them come to a conclusion of why they felt like they stabbing me in the back was the best thing for them, but I'm able to tame all the beasts that come my way by me channeling different energies, if that makes sense. And so, there you have it, you guys. Um, so we have the orange calcite, the chrome diopside, and the watermelon tourmaline. So it's sacral, solar plex. It's sac sacral and solar plex chakra is the orange calcite. Creativity, energy, and joy. So do you know as cancers, we turn around and put our energies into creativity. We start to do the things that we put on the back burner, and we start to do the things that we love to do, but somebody else didn't think it was good enough, or somebody else ridiculed us because of what how we love and how we love to do certain quirky things. And then the chrome diopside is the heart chakra. We learn to send strength and healing, period, and release those that no longer serve us. And that's the difference between us and, you know, partying just because it feels good at the moment and learning the difference between who we want to collaborate with uh, once we come out of this hermit mode. So that's integration, release, and growth. And then the watermelon tourmaline is the heart chakra. Again, sending strength and healing, release, love, and joy. That's the only thing that we can do in a situation to where we start to take things personally because we have to learn to release that self-judgment based upon how somebody else sees us. So the orange calcite says, I am filled and creative. I'm, I am filled with creati creative and constructive energy. So you're going to put into yourself and be creative and do the things that you love to do and let that energy come out of there that's you finding like-minded individuals and then the chrome diopside again integration release and growth and it says i am emotionally and physically healed and whole i am emotionally and physically healed and whole and that's you releasing the self-judgment and then the watermelon tourmaline it's release love and joy again sentence strength and healing period 
it says, I approach the world with love and joy. So no matter how somebody tries to make you feel, we go with the flow and certain energies, but we understand what resources we bring to the table moving forward. We have the opportunity of wealth. We have the opportunity of growth. We have the opportunity of just being able to love both mentally, physically, financially. And um, that is who we are. But when we get to that situation to where we start to uh, judge ourselves, we get into that darkness of that black hole and things are unpredictable. Then we start to get in our queen of swords in the reverse energy where we have um, basically become we become cold heart hearted and we are very emotional and we're we're just saying and spewing certain things so that's the difference between here and there and so or then and now shall we say so again let's go ahead and let this old energy go i think this was a really good read you know i love you guys and i miss you guys so i now let go of worn out conditions of lack doubt hate negativity procrastination stagnation sadness generational curses debt bad energies heartbreak bad health and addictions. Remember, addictions can be to a person, place, thing, or situation. I love you guys.